Hello, how's it going? Welcome back. And now it's been a while. I'm sorry it's been so long. I could blame it on work, but I should probably just come clean, be honest, and blame it on Matthew. So, what's new since I last spoke to you? Well, I've sold my Team Corrali Triton. It's gone. I've also made a new body shell for Rachel's Midnight Pumpkin. It looks great. I mean, I'm assuming the camera won't show the colour because photographs don't seem to show it either. That's a uh, Tamiya TS41 Cobalt Blue. It's beautiful. It's really nice. She's really pleased with it. And a bit more progress to the man cave. But uh, anyway, today's video is about this. This is a Lossy Mini T, the original. It's kind of known as the Mini T 1.0 nowadays. And I bought this on eBay cheap, uh, cheapish, um, a few months ago now, with the aim of restoring it, upgrading it, and then selling it on. Ah, uh, yes, it was a bit of a money pit. I didn't quite know what I was getting into, but uh, the problem was um, original parts are extremely rare for this. Now, this came out in 2003, and I didn't know which parts were compatible with the 2.0, the one that's relatively recent. Um, so, yes, it came with no speed controller or receiver. It's actually originally a two in one ESC and receiver, and um, which is 27 megahertz, which is why you've got this big long aerial tube. That wasn't included. It also used to run using this old ESC receiver on double A batteries. So, ugh, basically. My goal was always to fit a proper ESC, a proper 20, no, not 27, 2.4 gigahertz receiver and I had to get a proper servo as well because this is the servo, the original servo, and it plugs into the two in one ESC receiver with typically, actually, not typically, I was going to say a typical five cable. For some reason, this isn't, this is a four cable. So neither is it the standard three cable you get the hobby grade uh, servo, but nor is it the typical five cable you get with the two in ones generally. So this is uh, in between anything, four cable. Um, needed a new servo too. Problem was, this servo saver is bespoke to this servo, so I need to get a new servo saver as well. So I've got a high tech servo in there. I can't remember the code of it. I've kept all the little packet things so that the new owner, because I am selling this, will know exactly what he's got. Ah, there you go, HS55. That's the high tech servo HS55. Team Lossy themselves made a servo saver for that high-tech servo to convert this car or any car using the same servo into a proper hobby grade one with you know proper electronics. So that's what I've got. The problem was, as I said, things are rare. I needed new wheels and tires. I could have boiled these original tires off these wheels. Um, but I chose not to. Look at the state of these tires. They're completely, they've gone so old and brittle, they've cracked. All four of them are completely broken up complete mess. So, new wheels and tires. <laughs> I found out quite quickly, did a bit of research, the Team Lossy Mini T 2.0, the modern one, the wheels are not compatible with this one. Not only does the new one have hexes all around, this is a hex built into the wheel here and just a bearing on the front here, um, they're also different offset, so that's not good. But what I was trying to do is find out if the 2.0 tires are the same size as the 1.0 tires. Here's the thing. Google is very handy. The Google search engine is very handy for a lot of things. But it's next to useless by design when you're trying to find information on a product without intending on spending money and therefore making them more money as a result. For example, I needed to know if the wheels and tires on the new one, sorry, the tires on the new one, the 2.0, were compatible with the 1.0, the same size. So I would search for things like, do Lossy Mini T 2.0 tires fit on the Lossy Mini T? And I would get a result. Here's a shop selling Lossy Mini T 2.0 tires. You're like, no, 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 I need to know. Do Lossy Mini T 2.0 tires fit on the Lossy Mini T 1.0? Here's a result for one packet of Mini T 2.0 tires for sale in this shop. No, 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 Google, no. Are Mini T 2.0 tires compatible with Mini T? Here's a shop selling tires and wheels that are compatible with the Mini T 2.0. No, 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 
Are Mini T 1.0 tires the same size as Mini T 2.0 tires? Here's a review for the Mini T 2.0 talking about how perfect size it is. Also, it comes with wheels and tires. No, I thought I'd try and be clever, be like, okay, I'll add words like forum, try and whittle out the shops, or Reddit, so people discuss, you know, and I'd get things like, help, I need tires for my Mini T 2.0. Yeah, I, I just, I couldn't get anywhere. I, I just couldn't get anywhere. So actually, eventually, somebody actually commented, thank you, uh, on one of my videos and said, yes, the 2.0 tires are the same size and they can fit on the 1.0 wheels. By that point, it was too late, I'd already ordered them. So I had to buy new old stock for an old vintage RC um, that's quite rare. And I had to shop all over the world. The servo saver for the high-tech servo got in Italy. The wheels, these are RPM spider wheels for the 1.0. They look great. They were from England. The, now I can't remember if it was the rear or the front tires. I believe it was the front tires. I had to source from Canada with shipping at an extortionate rate, by the way. The back tires, I think were from the US, but I can't remember. Basically I had to go all over the place. Eventually I did get everything sorted. So these are, these are proper lossy tires for the 1.0 for this truck. These are Proline front tires for the 1.0 for this truck. I also got brand new, as in these were all new old stock, new Trinity um, foams, tire foams, which I didn't even know Trinity did, <laughs> but uh, apparently they did. I don't think they do anymore for this truck. So I've got the original foams that came with all these tires anyway. Um, I can't remember why I bought the Trinity foams when these came with foams anyway. I think when I first found the tires, they didn't have foams. So I ordered Trinity foams and then those ones couldn't be ordered for some reason either. They didn't ship to the UK or they were out of stock or something. So anyway, I ended up getting foams. So I've marked these for the new owner to know which ones are which. So the Proline ones are for the fronts and Proline there for the backs, whatever. Anyway, that's the Trinity 1600 milliamp two cell LiPo 30C discharge. It'll be a lot better than double A's. Um, this is the Hobbywing 1625, it's only 25 amps uh, ESC brushed, but it'll be more than up to that little motor and shifting this weight, absolutely spot on. Code, this is Core RC Code uh, 2.4 GHz radio system. It all looks fine. The body shell was in good condition. There's no cracks, a few scuffs, but it's no cracks or anything. There were some old school, really nice old school Team Lossy stickers on the side, but they'd lifted at the top and they were mucky underneath, like all the dirt had got to them. So there's nothing I could do. They looked terrible. So I just peeled them off and found some old school. These are the old lossy symbol um, stickers. So I've got pro line for the tires, TLR, lossy, hobby wing, hobby wing, RPM. It looks good. Actually, the whole truck looks really nice now. Um, it did come with upgrades anyway. These are oil shocks all around. I don't think, I might be wrong, but I don't think the, the 1.0 originally came with all shocks, shocks as standard. I think that was a, an aftermarket upgrade you get from Lossy. This has all shocks. I've serviced them, they're lovely and smooth. Problem is the springs are really, really, really soft. Really soft. So, you know, if I put the truck down, the back of the truck just sags. And if I compress this, they don't, it doesn't rebound properly, fully at all, look at that, it sits so low. So I'm, I'm expecting it to squat and scrape as it's driven along. Um, a bit of more preload help. See these little collars? You can add that to raise the ride height by adding more preload to the springs. If I take them off the front and add them to the back or vice versa, that side is completely sorted and it sits nicely. But I don't have any more of these really tiny shock collars. Um, I could do the old trick of small cable tie, but that's horrible, so never mind. I mean, it looks good when it sits, sits low. It looks really sort of purposeful, but... It's supposed to be slightly, slightly higher, but it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be all right. It sounds good. It sounds really good. Um, obviously, it's got a lot more pork now with a proper ESC. I mean, the, the two in one ESC receiver would have such a low amperage uh, and double A batteries. I think there was only four of them as well. So 7.4 volt, two cell LiPo. This is the original motor. The 
That sounds fast. It actually smells like it's still bedding in. I love that smell. The old brush motor smell from back in the day. Oh. But it does sound like it's bedding in still because it's gaining RPM every time I switch on and try it. Right. I've never driven it. It has never been driven, so all these tires, all these wheels, the LiPo, the electronics, everything's brand new. But today, we are going to test it. We're going to run it outside, um, and then I'm going to sell it. I, I really like it, though. it's really nice, but um, it's, it's, it's not my sort of thing. I'm not a big fan of such tiny RCs outside, to be honest. On a prepared sort of uh, track, what, what, do they, what do they use again? On one of those prepared, is it AstroTurf they use? I know they use AstroTurf outside, but the buggy clubs indoors that have all the jumps and all the side walls and all the rest of it, is that AstroTurf as well? I can't remember. But on one of those prepared tracks indoors in a hall, that would be awesome. That'd be so much fun in sort of like a mini T-series. Because they used to race these things. Um, but anyway, yes. It looks great. I'm really excited to try it. Um, and I hope the new owner enjoys it. This will be on... I don't know if I'll go Gumtree or eBay. eBay steals so much of your profits. It's like 12.5% or something when you sell something. I mean, screw that. So we'll see. Uh, having said that, it widens your market considerably compared to something like Gumtree. So um, yes, I don't know where I'll sell this, but when I do eventually advertise it, um, I will put a notification up on the YouTube channel so people know if you're interested in the truck. But let's see how it goes first. It might be terrible and then you won't want it. Anyway, enjoy. Right, it's a bit wet and drizzly today, but I'm not made of sugar. Neither is the lossy, and neither is the GoPro. So let's try it. Be a bit slippy. Let's see what it's like. Yep, slippy. You know, the squatting isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but uh, you know, it's not exactly gripping, so. Uh, uh, slippy. Yep, slippy. Got plenty of pork for the size, definitely. Yeah. Struggling. Maybe if I get some temperature in the tires, it'll be okay. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> Forward. Yeah, no. Yeah, let's go. Let's go that way. Yes. Oh, I need to set the steering trim. Nope, yep, yeah, I meant it. Totally deliberate. All right, it's turning left. Let's see, it's doing trip. Still turning right, uh, left. Oh. It's a bit more gravelly there, which might be less slippy because it's less wet, but. Mm. Yep, 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 doing well. Do yep. <laughs> Unbelievable. Speed! Oh, it's a shame that there's absolutely zero grip because I can imagine this thing's quite fun to drive but uh, I'm getting really nowhere with it. Yep. 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 <laughs> but did I almost pop a wheelie there? I think it probably would. But uh, grip levels are absent. Oh come on, go in a straight line just for a moment. Just, just, and well more. Yeah, we're good. Oh, free puddle. That's fine. It's not so much going in a straight line. It's it's taking corners once you've up the speed without it doing that. And and that. Funky, funky wee thing. Looks good. That was almost good there. Oh. I wonder if there's a drier bit of tarmac or 
Whoa! Something. <laughs> Just getting absolutely nowhere. Charge! Yeah! Oh, almost took a corner. That's a, that's an achievement. <laughs> I hope these new tires, spiky tires at the back aren't going to be bald after this. I don't think they will be. The grass is, I mean this place has basically been closed since Covid so uh, they're not been look, looking after anything. The grass is way too long for something so small. It gets through okay. For its size. Now why is that, why is that? Tire front right bouncing around so much. It's bouncing around something rotten. Let's have a look. That could have something to do with it. See it? See the vibration? Why is it so loose looking? Well, it's playing the servo server. That's what it is. I need to tighten that up. See that? Yeah, that needs tightened. Okay, that's something to do. That's not that's not an issue. It's no problem. It's less than the other side. Yeah, it's quite a lot on that side. That wee motor's getting a little bit hot. It's probably never been worked this hard in its life. It's never had this sort of voltage through it. Maybe fine though. Yeah, the handling won't be helped by the fact that the servo saver definitely needs tightened up. Definitely. Or, I mean, there is no handling, it's just spinning out. You can see the front right just bouncing around. The playing the servo saver. Oh man, this thing would be absolutely awesome in the dry, I think. It actually doesn't squat as much as I thought it would. It's, it's got quite a good stance, it's not bottoming out like I thought it would. And it doesn't dive too bad in the brakes. I mean, it does a little bit, but again, that's because there's lack of grip. It would do it more violently if it was dry. But it looks good. And that's a perfectly acceptable top speed. Top speed. Top speed. Top speed for something so small. But I do need to sort out that front right. That's annoying. Well, that's a shame. Just not the day for this truck. With the wet tarmac, slippery, two-wheel drive, not enough grip. And obviously you've got this, see if I can do this with one hand. This wobbly, wonky wheel. Uh, just the amount of movement in that, it's a lot. Um, but it's an absolute beast, like really, it's a little animal. It would be really good with a bit of grip, it really would, but uh, never mind. C'est la vie. Thanks for watching, take care, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.